Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be all about Evernote's new Windows and Mac application. Yes, they've officially released the desktop editions. They released the iOS one back on the 16th of September with iOS 14 and now they finally ship the desktop edition about two to three weeks later, which isn't too bad. In today's episode of Keep Productive News, we're going to be overviewing what's new inside of that Evernote application and a little bit more. This episode of Keep Productive News today is sponsored by Superhuman. If you'd like to check out more, here's a little bit more about them. Today's video is sponsored by Superhuman. Superhuman is regarded as the fastest email experience ever made. Their users get through their inbox twice as fast as before, with many seeing inbox zero for the first time in years. Curious how it works? Well, there's three parts to it. First, Superhuman delivers fast speed in-app with super speedy interactions, allowing blazingly fast startup, search, and sending mail speeds. Second, by introducing workflows. With carefully crafted snippets and keyboard commands, you can power through email at rapid rates, unknown in current email software. And third, some of the most powerful email triage out there. With split inboxes, email becomes easier to manage with more urgent emails front and center and no email overflow, all personalized to your needs. Superhuman is currently invite only right now with hundreds of thousands of people on the list. We've got a special link below. Head to superhuman.com slash keep productive and learn more there. Thank you to the folks at Superhuman for sponsoring Keep Productive this month. So as many of you know, Evernote have been working quite hard in the background to rebuild the code base and the foundations. They released or at least started the process of updating their applications with the iOS one first, and now they've moved on to both the Windows and Mac. So out of the lineup, the Windows, Mac, the iOS and web versions are pretty much done with Android planned in the near future. So for example, that probably is going to be in a two to three week span if they're going off what we've just seen. So when it comes to the appearance, Evernote have improved the way that the header styles and tables look. They've also made it standardized font colors and highlight options inside of all of the devices. Apparently checklists had got to the VIP treatment giving you the ability to indent stuff and make it smoother to access the checklist that you've created. And one thing they did inside of the editor before is actually redesign the format bar so things that are more accessible and should be more accessible are clear and front and center. They also have that new insert button if you haven't seen it yet. So in terms of speed, Evernote have improved the search suggestions. So if you're looking for a specific note, you'll be able to find it faster. You can also filter your search by tag, attachments, PDF, and URLs if you want to. And you can also combine keywords, tags, and location if you want to. So in terms of the look of Evernote, you'll get the same look across all your devices, aside from Android. That's actually an improvement, obviously, before they were building different sets of devices on different applications, and it came a bit complicated. And you can also change the default width of the note inside of your application. So whether you're on Windows or Mac, you can improve just that. So I was actually beta testing this one on Evernote Preview and I found it to be a lot snappier than it was before. Specifically for me, the speed of being able to access uh, notes by just scrolling back and finding a note was actually much better. And that's probably based on their cloud improvements, but definitely something uh, a much improved upgrade from last time. So they made a statement on the Android side. It says, watch for the new version of Evernote for Android soon, completing the groundwork for new features and faster innovation. If you haven't checked out our chat with the Evernote CEO, it will be available on the podcast tomorrow and also um, available again in the TLDR version on here on YouTube. Anyway, folks, a big thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and I hope you enjoy the new Evernote. Let me know if your thoughts below in the comments. I know some people are having some issues with some bugs, some issues. So let us know what you think about the new Evernote applications. Anyway, folks, please do make sure you subscribe to Keep Productive News and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.